next comment from hashtag q a from the post game bills live chat this is from bills fan 7883 um, again i'm paraphrasing here uh, what players are the solutions at their positions and uh, which positions are we going to need to fill in the off season so what's the off season plan subscribe now what are the Ooh. glaring holes that you need to fill and how would you fill them i think we need to limit this because there's a lot oh yeah but we can take it in two categories we could yeah. say what do you do what do you solve in free agency and what do you solve in the draft okay that's what i like about it. Okay. um obviously o-line yeah huge problem you need one big big bigger wide receiver number one to push all those other guys to the slots. Yep. All right. As far as the defensive side of the ball is, you need someone opposite Trey White. Mm -hmm. um, you need someone opposite of Matt Milano. Because I don't think so, Alexander is going to be here. Strong side, you mean? Strong side. You need okay. a strong side linebacker. Defensive line, you could pick up guys here and there. They've shown they can do that when they pick yeah. up Jordan Phillips. Yeah. Um, so I would say those in my per running back as well. Those are the ones I would rank. Okay. As far as right now, what do you solve? Um, what do you solve in free agency? You said it during the post game. Offensive line, line is the yeah, offensive line is the Those easiest always, to replace in in free agency. And I would say, even though it, the list isn't very you know long and distinguished as far as wide receivers go, probably not a lot of guys you would want here. Um, because of the development of a, of a wide receiver, it takes a while. It takes a while. Um, if you want someone to help Allen right now and help those wide, those young wide receivers right now. I think you get a veteran guy that's played maybe five, six years. He's probably the, unfortunately for that the, the Bills will be his third team at that point yeah. probably. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, so, a veteran guy to come in. A lot of people were talking about hey, should the Bills trade for A.J. Green? Yeah, I saw I think Ryan Talbot wrote that article. He did. He said trade for, trade for Green and draft you know, a couple other guys. I, I mean, since he is in the midst, I mean, their defense is really old, like really mm -hmm. old, and they're probably going to be changing coaches. So, since he is a great target, um, so let me just run through the list of free agent wide receivers. Are you ready for this? Did we do this before? I feel like we might have, but um, like, find me a guy over six foot three who's been in the league who won't garner a lot of money. Jermaine Curse, Cordell Patterson, don't want him. No. Kevin White, don't want him. Mm, too young. Kevin White's too young? Too he's, young. Been, he's been hurt. Just oh, he's he's, not, he's not a guy that has a lot of game experience that yeah. can pass on. Quincy Inouye's a free agent. I division. like Quincy Inouye. Division. Division. I hate division. Oh, God. When's the last time we tried to add by subtracting a guy from another team? It was Charles Clay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No bueno. Touche. Touche <laughs> to that. Josh Gordon's a restricted free agent. But the Pats are going to sign him. What? What? He's restricted for you. The Pats are going to resign him. He's restricted, all right. Yeah, he's restricted. Only restricted to calling four people. <laughs> uh, Sammy Coates. Who? You don't remember Sammy Coates? I remember Ben Coates. No, Sammy Coates. He was, <laughs> Sammy Coates was the big heralded wide receiver out of Auburn? Is it Auburn? Yeah, it was Auburn. Nope. Uh, he was drafted third round, 87 overall. Uh, I would take Randall Cobb over those guys. I wouldn't touch Randall Cobb with a 10-foot pole, man. No way. Not interested in that at all. Not interested in that at all. If you don't re-sign McKenzie? You're, they're going to re-sign McKenzie. I'm just saying, if you don't. If you don't re-sign McKenzie, do you? Randall Cobb? Yeah. There's no universe that McKenzie's on this, not on this team and Randall Cobb is. There's no universe that that exists. No universe. You kill any kind of discussion we can have about this stuff. This, well, I mean, talk to me about this. I'm just saying. I would like a veteran guy to come in and coach these guys up. Now, could you get a number one stud wideout that is polished and ready? God, no. I don't know. Like, that's the thing. 2014 was the last draft that had that. The Bills could be major players for Golden Tate. Period. The end. Because they have the money to spend. He fits the profile of what they would want, but the question is, would he want it? To, he would charge the Bills an absolute fortune to come here. He would. Because you have a quarterback that completes 50% of his passes. Five-year 50? Oh, he's going to make more than that. Okay, then. 
Nope. Okay, he's going to make more than that. Nope. Yeah. He's, 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 30. he's 30. He's 31. 30. Nope. Nope. Yeah, he's 31. So, uh, I get it. I'm just three, saying... Three for 45, then, he's looking for? No. No, he's going to be bigger than that, dude. It, there's His deal's going to be bigger than that. He's going to be the best wide receiver on the free agent market. Oh, no. He's going to sign... He's going to sign... Of, he's going to sign a four to five year deal and it's going to be 12 a year. Dude, he's going to make big money. So four for 48 instead of three for 45, you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> My contract's better, right? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> but Golden Tate's going to be, you know, a major player on the market. I, I, I don't disagree with you. I just don't know if he, they, he would be a major player for the Bills. Even though the Bills will have the finances, um, does how they spend their money in free agency let's say they pick up like top two or three because we haven't looked at defensive free agents no we haven't i mean haven't. in depth i mean we looked at them but we haven't looked at them in depth because the old line of wide receivers have been like the biggest concern yeah so what if they start spending their first two big money splashes are spent on this on the defense does that speak to the development of Allen? We're like, hey, we're going to have to keep him in games next year because he's he's not developing like we thought. I have a feeling like it speaks to where they feel the strengths of the draft class are more than anything else. That's a great point. So if we see them start spending big money on the defense, it, then we know that they're either looking to trade down because this, defense, this draft is very defense heavy. It's very top heavy in defense. So if we see that, then it might be a red flag. The Bills might be looking to trade down uh, because, again, the, the top – I don't know if you're going to see more than two players drafted in the top ten that will be offensive players. Honestly, I don't know. You might. Yeah, because the last few weird drafts. thing is the quarterbacks always fly up there, and you know, there's always quarterback needy teams that you know somebody will reach on. But I mean, I'm not in love with any of the quarterbacks coming out of this draft. Quarter. Quarter. Wow. Yeah. I don't. I don't love any of the QBs coming out of this draft. I really no, don't. No. 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 As far as the linemen go, the Bills won't probably they probably won't have to trade up to get if they're if they're singling out an offensive lineman mm -hmm. because in recent years linemen have dropped and in a draft where it's very front loaded defensively oh yeah they'll have the best their guy might on follow the board. The, yeah yeah they, they, they can get the best best tackle on the board if they yeah. want it so even if they're I would see them four five six seven eight they they have their shot at the best tackle on the board I think depending on the development of Teller over the next three games will depend whether or not they go after a guard in free agency. That'll be my telling sign. You don't... So you, you expect the Bills to re-sign Sirius and the, him to be your starting right guard? I said they could. I mean, I said during the post game. I would, they've they, used him enough for them to give me the inclination they want him. They want him in there. You see, then to me, he would be in there by now. Because you've got no reason to keep Miller. So what you're saying is if he doesn't impress them enough to start over Miller and right you think now. Miller's gone, then they're both gone? No, I think they'll re-sign him as a depth signing, but I think they would look for his replacement in free agency in the draft. Oh, no, no, that's what I'm saying. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I'm saying, but... The, they'll the, retain the, one of them. The, the Yeah, okay. They'll All retain right. one of them. I'm saying the the um, the development of, of, of Teller will give you a sign on whether or not... Because they got Teller in the fifth round. Yeah. I was like, hey, we can get a guard in the fifth round. We don't need to push for one in free agency. Right. Okay. Yeah. But if, if he starts to falter in here and there, he's like, okay, he just needs to develop a little bit more, then let's go after another guy. Let's well, doesn't that speak volumes years. to who's playing tackle? I mean, would you really want to put a, a, you know, a second-year Wyatt Teller next to a rookie left tackle if you're going to move Deion Dawkins to right tackle? Would you really want to do that? Well, a lot of people want to draft a rookie wideout and put it with a second-year Josh Allen. Okay. So how is that going to help him? Yeah. Okay. I mean, as far as development, I think what you try to do is you try to get your five in there as fast as possible. Right. Whether or not it's through free agency, whether that's through the draft, because um, it's only, they're only about a month apart. Right. So the free agency and the draft are about a month apart. So you want to get them in there as fast as you can and get that continuity. I think for the same reason you go after a veteran wideout to tutor these younger guys that, could, that you think you're going to retain, you go after a veteran lineman to go, hey, guys, uh, Maybe that has a little bit of championship pedigree to him. Okay. So, hey, look, this is what happened and what has worked. This is how, some communication things that we did. And a guy that's just happy to be, like, in the league, I guess. But considering the way Allen has played and how he can make plays and how that defense is set up, I think Buffalo looks more attractive to people than other people might think. You know what I mean? It's so hard for free just to come to Buffalo because a lot of things bad have been said about it, but... So I say, I say free agency for wide receiver and um, 
wide receiver and O line. I, th I think you go free agency a month before the draft. Yep. Even though that tips your hand at the draft. Yeah. Okay, they're not going to be draft. They're going to stay where they are, and they're they're possibly going to be drafting, you know, a defensive player, if they do. And then if you do get a defensive player, say you get, you know, outside linebacker or a corner, that's one of the studs coming out. Yep. And then you, you put that piece on your defense to learn because you have a lot more veteran leadership on defense than on offense. Sure. I so, think I think so, a rookie will will he'll come fall in, he'll in come defense in. a lot better yeah. than a rookie. Yeah, on depending offense. too on how much they 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 like Levi. Levi hasn't played bad. No, he hasn't been bad at all. No, he's been very good. But he tends to be the guy they pick on. So well, he's only been on the team for a few weeks. I mean, wouldn't you pick? Oh him? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's what I would do. And <clears throat> they haven't done that that very much. I mean, he got hurt today. Sure. And they didn't even pick on Lewis when he went out. Yep. They kept picking on Tredavious White, which is yeah. shocking. To speed me. guy. You know, White has problems with speed, like handling those speed receivers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he, he ran with Anderson on that pass down the sideline that got him down to the goal. You know? He yeah. ran with Anderson. He was right there. But, um, you know, he just he struggles a little bit with, with speed receivers. He was with them, but he just didn't. He loses track of the ball when he's got to be running full boat like that. I suppose that's to be expected. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, he's. I mean, we like to talk about him like he's a polished product. He's it's second, second year. year player. You know what I mean, I he's doing great. I know. So and it, he's he's Taylor. He's in a defense that. That's the thing that really. I mean, going back to the whole Dave Will Frazier thing. Frazier will put his guys. Will design things tailored around their strengths, and Dave Will doesn't do that. Well, Bills fan 7883 that gave us this question also said the Bills need to look at drafting another middle linebacker and moving Tremaine Edmonds to strong. Can you imagine Tremaine Edmonds as a strong side linebacker? You mean you draft a stud middle linebacker and you got Edmonds, you can get him in the second Edmonds round. and Milano on the outside? You get, you, middle linebackers are not first round players. You do not draft middle linebackers in the first round. You normally draft them if you if they do go in the first round, they go in like the tw late twenties. Mm -hmm. You don't get middle linebackers in the because they're pitching to a position. How many Bill Bill says will lose their mind if we draft a middle linebacker with the first pick, like seventh overall? Oh Jesus, I'll lose my mind. <laughs> Think of Tremaine Edmonds, and you just say, "Listen, Tremaine, if there's no tight end on that side, you just kill somebody. Just, you just go eat, right?" Now, here's the problem, because here's when Tremaine has clear sight, he's dangerous. Right. When he doesn't have clear sight, we, we saw what happened, right? He got to the gap today in the goal line, but he didn't attack it the way that he can when he is sure of himself. When he sees it, he's dangerous. Right. He didn't see that run. He got nope. to the right gap, but he wasn't comfortable there. It cost the Bills the game. Well, it, that's the main I think a lot of things call it cost the Bills. I don't think it was Edmonds. He had a pick today. He did have a pick. It's a great play. First career interception. Caught the ball better than Zay Jones. So the Bills... Knowing... Really going to let that one go right by? I didn't hear you say <laughs> You didn't hear what I said? Mm -hmm. Caught the ball better than Zay Jones. Well, Darnold threw it. it took a month <laughs> to get there. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the Christmas season. Put a nice bow on this discussion. I would say... The Bills go offense heavy in free agency. They know how good this draft class is defensively, and they're going to stay yeah. and they're going to pick a defensive player. Yeah, I think that's I think that's and right. Then, yeah, right on, right on message. 